hello everyone so here is the second problem so in this circuit you have to find the voltage v naught which is across the 2 ohm resistor so we all know the ohms law that is v is equal to i r so now to find the current i we will be using another law which is kirchhoff's voltage law or kirchhoff's second law actually so let me write this the algebraic sum of the changes in potential across a mesh is zero. Now, what is a mesh? Mesh means a complete loop, okay? Like complete circuit. If you start from one point and come travel through the loop, you can come back to the starting point, okay? So that is a loop. Or in circuit theory, we call it a mesh. So now uh, we will understand this with an example. So I've taken a simple diagram with a voltage source and a resistor so now you can easily find that the current here will be 5 by 1 that will be 5 ampere yes so in the resistor there will be voltage drop in this side will be plus and the downside will be minus so voltage also will be 5 volt that is v is equal to ir right so 5 into 1 the voltage will be 5 volt now if we travel through this path like this is a complete loop right so if we start from this point and travel through the loop like this so first we are getting this voltage source yes and if we are entering in the minus side or in the negative side so this is negative and this is positive so if we are entering in the minus side let's take it minus 5 okay then again we are traveling through the circuit and here we come when it is we are entering that to the positive side right so we will take plus 5 so that again will be 0 so basically this is the KVL or Kirchhoff voltage law now uh, in the problem we can use this so let's assume that the current through the circuit is I you don't have to solve it now and we will be following the direction in the current direction okay so let's take a direction like this all right so now you see starting from this point let's say and uh, first we'll be getting this 20 volt battery so that will be we are entering that in the minus side again so that will be minus 20 now you see if the current is flowing from uh, like in this 5 ohm and 3 ohm register the current is flowing from the left side so this will be plus this minus this will be plus this will be minus like whatever whatever the voltage drop there will be so the left hand side will be positive and the right hand side will be negative so here the voltage drop will be 5i and here 3i and here we will be getting this side is plus this side minus that will be and right it here that will be 2i yes so now let's start from this point okay so so we are entering the negative side of the 20 volt right here we are entering the negative side so then we have to take as minus 20 then we will get 5i then plus 3i for the 10 volt we are entering again in the minus side right so we will take minus 10 and minus sorry plus 2i that will get 0 so then we will get 10i is equal to 30 so i is equal to 3m so now if i is equal to 3m then 2i is equal to 3 into 2 that will be 6 so now you see we have to find v naught which is in opposite polarity then the 2i so if 2i is 6 volt so the v naught will be minus 6 volt okay so this is our final answer if we change the polarity of the v naught like that this right hand side is plus and this side is minus then obviously the answer will be 6 volt so i hope this concept is clear now and in future we will be using this question this theory also again and again in many uh, places so you have to have a very good understanding of this concept so if you 
have any doubt please write in the comment section okay thank you